changing Cincinnati's charter to pave the way for traffic cameras. That's what one member of council wants to see happen. Yeah, it would be a big change considering what voters decided more than a decade ago. WLWT News 5 investigative reporter Todd Dykes is live with more on this new push to embrace electronic street monitors, Todd. Yeah, Ashley and Mike, a motion filed yesterday at City Hall calls on the city's law department to draft a charter amendment that voters may be asked to decide in November. The man behind the motion, Jeff Kramerding, wants people who call Cincinnati home to have a chance to weigh in on whether traffic cameras would help police enforce traffic laws. The noises he hears from his home in the heart of the Queen City tells Ryan Stallworth one thing, that car crashes are all too common. I live right on 4th Street and we hear accidents all the time. Because that's the case, Stallworth supports a push by Councilman Jeff Kramerding, who wants to let voters decide if traffic cameras should be used to catch people breaking the rules of the road. I think it's more of a safety feature than to watch over people. Um, they're not out here just trying to, you know, get people in trouble. It's more so about keeping people safe. I think any kind of traffic calming measure is way important. Like, it's very needed around town. The video you're seeing is from past debates about traffic cameras in Cincinnati. 15 years ago, voters narrowly passed what Kramerding calls a ban on monitoring devices like this one. It did, did pass with 51% of the vote, so it was very close. Leading up to the vote in 2008, then Councilman Chris Smitherman suggested city officials only wanted to use traffic cams to make money. This has never been a discussion about safety. All discussions have been in the Finance Committee. Kramerding said laws have been enacted since then, removing money as motivation. There have been changes in state law so that this will be revenue neutral. Any money that we take in from traffic enforcement cameras, we lose that exact amount in state funding. Whether voters will get to weigh in on traffic cams in November remains to be seen, but that's not stopping Kramerding from imagining how they might work. Is it a red light camera? Is it a speeding camera? Uh, you know, there's a lot of questions to be asked. Now, to Kramerding's point about uh, traffic cams being revenue neutral, there's some disagreement on that front, and that's a point that will likely be debated in the coming days and weeks. I can tell you the motion needs approval of six council members before it could go to voters in November. We'll be following it closely. Reporting live tonight, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5. Now, Todd, we know the efforts to repeal the 2008 ban on traffic cameras faces some roadblocks here. If supporters can get it to the finish line, is there any talk yet about where those cameras might pop up? Well, Kramerding says not yet because there are a lot of moving parts at play in all this. He cites things like making sure any traffic camera program has at its heart community feedback and that it meets certain safety uh, st strategies and also that it addresses issues tied to equity. Ashley and Mike. All right, Todd.